Here we're told to use the coordinate system shown to plot the following points. So I'll do these one at a time and label them. Point A is 2 comma 3, so we go to the right 2 and up 3. And that puts us right there. So draw that point and write A next to it since that's point A. Point B is negative 3 comma 1. So the x value is negative. That means we go to the left 3 and then up 1. And that puts us here. So that's point B. Point C is negative 4, negative 3. A negative x value means we go to the left 4. And then a negative y value means we go down 3. So that puts us right here for point C. Point D is 2 comma negative 2. Positive 2 in the x direction, negative 2 in the y direction. That puts us right there for point D. Point E is 4 comma 0. We go 4 to the right and we don't move at all in the y direction. So point E is right here. Point F is 0 comma negative 5. That means there's no movement in the x direction and we go in the negative y direction 5 units. So this is point F. And then point G G is negative 1.5 comma 4. So the x value is negative, so we're going to the left. And it's a non-integer value, and that's okay. We go one and a half units to the left, and then up 4. So we're going to end up right there. It doesn't end up at exactly an intersection of grid lines, and that's okay. Point G is up there. Now, hopefully you've seen that sort of thing before, but if not, you should know that you should be very familiar with this idea, and you should be able to plot points like this pretty quickly and easily. And it's not hard, just avoid the common mistakes. But if you need to, watch this video again or practice this some more. But being able to plot the points quickly and accurately will be helpful down the road. Okay, this is similar, except we're given the points plotted, and we're going to find the coordinates based on the where the points are on the plane. So look at point A first. To get to point A from the origin, we go to the right 3 and up 1. So A is the point 3, comma 1. To get to point B, we go to the left 4. So that's negative 4 for x, and there's no movement in the y direction. So the y coordinate is 0. Point B is negative 4, 0. Point C down here, we go to the left 1 and then down 4. So that means x is negative 1 and y is negative 4. Point D is right at the origin. That's the point 0, comma 0. Starting at the origin, there's no movement to get to point D. Point D is the origin, point 0, 0. And then point E here, look, point E, again, this one is not right on any of these intersections of grid lines, and that's okay. It looks like it's right in between 2 and 3. We go to the right 2, and then going down, it looks like it's right in between negative 2 and negative 3 right there. So point E looks like it's at uh, 2.5, comma, negative 2.5.